hurt. Really hurt. I go so camping. This is crazy. This is crazy. <clears throat> What's going on, y'all? My name is Raynell Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. I've got a special episode for y'all today because I'm doing something I've never done before. I'm going to do a little stealth camping. Now, when I say stealth camping, I mean pretty simple. Try not to be detected. Try not to be discovered. Try not to be arrested. Now, when I say arrested, um, this particular area where I'm at may or may not allow camping. Don't know. But I do know I'm in the middle of no damn where. Now, even though I'm in the middle of no damn where, understand that there is a major highway in this city less than half a mile away. So it's crazy that less than half a mile away in one of the biggest cities in the US, there's a whole wilderness out here. Um, the goal is simple, man. I'm only gonna come out here, you know, we'll give about four or five hours, try to make shelter. After I make shelter, we'll try to catch food. After we catch food, we try to feed ourselves. If we feed ourselves, we'll break down and head to the house. Um, goal, goals, that's my goals. Number one goal is not to die, all right? I'm seeing, I'm seeing some stuff on the ground that makes me look like wild hogs are out here. I know there's deer out here, bucks, particularly bucks, but you know, I'm strapped, so we could have a catch, clean, and cook wild hog or a catch, clean, and cook a deer. I mean, if anything run up on me and it scares me, person, baby, I don't care. It's getting popped and we eating it. So let's go ahead and um, get to work. We don't have that much time before the sun goes down because I can't be I can't be in this woods when the sun goes down. The mosquitoes are already getting bad. I I know where I'm at, right? I just gotta follow the creek back to the path to um my truck. Let's get started. Lego. Alright. Y'all see that? I don't know what happened if I grab it. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, great. That's great right now. Yeah. You broke it now, you can't reach it. Oh, great. Now it's the perfect storm. Doing like a Mexican piano. Okay, hold on, hold on. Remember, y'all, today's goal. Number one goal is not to die. So we gotta... There we go. Oh, come on, wait. Come here. There we go. It's been raining a lot in Houston recently. But it's a lot of dry wood, so we got plenty of tinder. I have a small stove that I can use to boil water. We got one more here, but it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, come on. I can't reach it. Hold on. I'm just gonna just hit the hell out of it. Hell with it. Hold on. There we go. All right. This is what I was talking about. This is biscuit and gravy. Just add some boiled water so I can draw that. This is beef stew. I don't understand how powder can turn into food. I really don't. But you know, we're definitely gonna try it, man. 
I'll show you the stove I'm talking about on how I'm gonna try to cook this. I mean, preferably, I would love to catch a fish at this creek over here, but it's pretty steep, so I'm not sure. So I'm always gonna have a backup plan, um, just in case. Thought I heard something. See, it's a winter right now, so everything is dead and you, everything is just crackling. You can hear everything moving. Only problem is even the squirrel sound like an eight point buck deer right now. All right, let's get back to work. Hey, I'm looking for my, hold on, let me put this somewhere. Damn, it's hot. Here we go. Here's the hammock. Definitely hear something besides that plane. We should, we should be good. I don't think anything wild comes out during the day, right? They should be scared of humans. Technically, right? Anyway. It's rain tarp. I'm gonna need that. But just in case. Here we go. And we're gonna use the big straps. Make sure they fit. All right, see if I can remember how to do this. Strap there. Strap there. Use the big straps. Make sure. Not that thermosil is working because I don't feel nothing. All right, so these are pretty simple, man. You just wrap them around the tree, from what I remember. That height looks about good. And we'll go in here. Y'all keep an eye out for me, man. Here we go. That's good. Then we'll just snap it. How many links we gonna go? Start from the bottom. It's got a lot of them. Okay, we're talking about them. You just clip it right to this. There's multiple loops. So we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll start with seven. Seven up. Perfect. All right, let's do the other one. A little 360 around this damn tree, make sure ain't nothing on it, you know what I'm saying? There we go. It's a thicker tree. It looks good. Go ahead and strap. There we go. It up seven, one, two, three, four, five, seven. I have to go eight actually. That looks good. We'll try eight right there. A lot simpler than last time. Oh no. Do I have my mosquito poles? Because I don't see them in here. Oh, there they go. Camouflage. That's terrifying. Make sure nothing gets lost. The 
rescue plane. You know what, I just realized I forgot, I brought two bottles of water, but one is in the damn truck, you idiot. Idiot. It's all right though. It's all right. I still got one in my hiking backpack that will get the job done. But it's gonna be like a couple of cups, 75 millimeters or something like that to, um, be able to do this all right so next with the mosquito net we'll just put this in here like this I practiced once before it's a video on my channel which definitely is helping go a lot faster with this whole situation so practice makes perfect y'all Practice definitely makes perfect. Okay, so this goes there all the way. We'll put this here. Keep that pressure there. Preparation is key, bro. It's all about preparation, right? There we go. And this one there, just like that. Now it's gonna spin around, but that's okay because we have some tie down straps to help with that. Last time I put both of my um, die lines on the same side at work, but somebody was like, nah, bro, you gotta put it opposite end. So I put one in the front, one in the back to help keep me stable. Like I said, I don't have to put my, um, I'm gonna put my rain fly on because it's not gonna rain. So it's gonna save a lot of time. But knowing my luck, it probably would end up raining. Now this is a taut line knot. It's great to make adjustments on pressure and whatnot. There you go. Did I do it right? Yeah, I did it right. All right. Now I need a steak. I got some good ones. I hate the ones I don't have. Let me see. There they go right there. Let me get some water first, man. Because even though it's not blazing hot, because it's not the summer, it's still in the 70s, which is crazy. Stay hydrated, man. Y'all see me? This is all I have for water. <clears throat> Gotta conserve it because I need something to cook my ARES. Is it ARES or MREs? Hold on, I gotta look this up. This is gonna bother me. Okay, Google. Is it A-R-E or M-R-E food? According to the Today Show, an M-R-E or meal ready to eat is an individual food ration used for milling. But M-R-E, meal ready to eat. So I just need about 75 millimeters of this to cook for my food, but I have to actually hydrate. Back to work. Here we go, that should work. Perfect. Practice definitely makes perfect, man. Once again, y'all, it took me damn near an hour and a half to do this last time. Oh man, we're we're entirely too high though. We'll adjust it. We'll adjust it. No worries. Like I said, this is to help the hammock from flipping. There we go. Perfect. All right. Like 
So I'm a little high. But we should be good. Let me try it out. There we go. Alright. We good. Okay. Let's get on it. Oh, let me get all the way in. I'm gonna lean a little bit. Take a little break. Can't reach the net over there though. There we go. We gotta get that side later. Okay, hold on. Alright, not bad y'all. The time on my GoPro said we knocked that out in 15 minutes. 15 minutes exactly. First time I did this. Bro, it took it took um an hour and a half. I put the rain tarp on too. It's not necessary right now because it's not raining. But this is quick and simple. I'm off the ground. You know, if the ground was wet, we're good on that. I have a rain fly, which is something that can go over this to protect me for rain. In addition, I also have a, a tarp as well. So we're definitely, um, we're good with shelter. Wait a minute, is that a spider? No, we're good. We're good with shelter, man. Um, as I can say, it's a little high, but we can adjust that if needed. Definitely adjust that if needed. Just come down a little bit. There we go. Ah, oh, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Damn. I forgot I have a pillow. I have an inflatable pillow. I looked dead at that pillow and didn't bring it. It's all good. I'm not sleeping, man. I just wanted to get this set up. Place to kind of get off my feet for a moment. But for now, when you're editing this video, make sure you put your inflatable pillow in the gear of stuff that you always need when you go camping. But honestly, I can definitely go to sleep just like this. I ain't even tripping, to be honest with you. Yeah, I got like a couple of bags in there, like a rain jacket bag. That can be perfect pillow. See some bolsters flying over me. That might be a sign. <sighs> yeah. All right, y'all. So <clears throat> we're good on shelter. <sighs> Let's talk about food next. But first, let me get out of this without trying to break my neck. <sighs> Here we go. Okay. So I get this one over here. When I come back in. Oh, it's easy, easy, light work. All right, so we have shelter. Check. Um, next up. See if we can catch some food. All right, let's talk about fishing gear, man. So, I bought this little expandable fishing rod combo on Amazon. Yeah, it was only like I don't know, 39 bucks, right? It came with the rod, which right now is only like 17 inches, right? I can put it directly in my bag. It extends out to seven feet. They have one that extends out to 5.87 even eight foot and it comes with a nice spinning combo why this is only 32 dollars i don't know but we're gonna rock with it man you have this to protect your little eyes right there make sure you don't lose anything and like i say it goes from 17 inches and this extends out all the way to seven foot see that so talk about convenience man you want to travel, go camping, 
That's it, man. So like at the time, I bought it like a week ago, 32 bucks. I'll put the link in the description if you want to take it out. I need to put some line on it as well and spool it. Um, and we'll see if we can get access to this creek over here. I know like white bass are, um, I don't know if the white bass run has started yet. Maybe. But we'll see. I'm not sure what's in this river or creek. But we'll definitely see. So when you extend it out, you just kind of twist it kind of clockwise slightly to lock it in place. And done. You ain't gonna catch no big ugly or no, you know, redfish bull red, but should get the job done. Just like that, man. It went from 17 inches to seven feet. So let's go ahead and um, spool it up. I said I did that at home. Um, I got some, please tell me I did not forget my lures in the truck. Oh man, they gotta be lures. I pray that I have some lures in my backpack behind me. If not, we gotta go straight to the MREs. Did you put the lures in the bag? Well, one way to find out. Here we go. Oh, yes. Thank God, we got it. We got the lures. Crisis averted. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, but did you put, did you put the, the line, that's some 20 pound line, we got the line, alright, perfect, I'm trying not to keep my backpack open, because I don't want nothing crawling in here, without my knowledge, we ain't taking nothing home, besides what we came with. Nothing besides. Oh, it's just a strap. Just a strap to my hammock. We all right, baby. We are right, but stay vigilant. I like that. Stay vigilant. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do is spool the new rod. Got plenty of lures. Um, we're gonna see if we can traverse down this creek over here and catch us a fish. Progress. Let go. Oh, man. If I hook up on something and can land it, I'm gonna have to be extremely lucky. Cause it looks like there's a ton of branches all along here on this creek. So it's like the one time I actually prefer not to catch nothing big oh, here goes nothing i think oh my god look at the string too much string on the it's like 20 pound test i think this rod and reel is only rated for um up to 12. so we got to deal with that Big fail. 
that rod and reel is rated for eight, 10, and 12 pound tests. I only had 20 pound. This is the first time I tested it when I came out here. And this is what I ended up with. It's my own fault, man. Test your gear before you go out in the real world. If I didn't, if I didn't have the MREs, I'd be screwed. So I can't fish because every time I cast, the line is just rated too high and it just completely comes off the spool. That's my own fault, man. That's my own fault. Should have tested that at home. Sorry, y'all. Sorry I can't catch any fish. Um, I can test out my stove to see if I can boil water and test out MREs for the first time, see how that goes. Damn. Lesson learned. All right, let's go back to camp. Set up my stove and try to cook an MRE. Let go. All right. So, um, I failed when it came to catching food. It's okay though. Because I definitely believe in practicing. Um, practicing um, the real world scenarios at home. I didn't get my fishing line, so that's okay. So what we're gonna do is attempt to eat our first MRE beef stew. Now in order to do that, I'm trying to remain primitive as possible. So what I'm gonna do is two things. Let's see if we can simply boil water um, in this little stove right here. Using nothing but flint rod. I have some um, fire starters um, to help like a tinder, but there's plenty of um, dried leaves out here. I could just be able to use that, but, but we're gonna, I wanna use my fire starter tinder. Make sure I don't burn down this damn forest. That's the goal. All right, so let me show y'all my stove. All right, so first things first, we need to clear out an area right below me, right? Nothing but mud and no leaves, just like that. See a ton of bugs I just revealed. That's now freaking me out. Anyway. the hell was that? All right. We're going to say that was an owl. How much time we got? It's about 4 o'clock. We got about, what, 4.30, 5.30? About an hour before the sun um, goes down. So let's cook and eat. So let me show y'all my stove. Once again, everything I have in this video, um, you can go check out on my Amazon store. The link will be in the description. Just click on the Amazon store. Okay, so this is like a smokeless little fire pit, right? And simple. Piece number one. Okay. Then from piece number one. Let me see, how does it go? This is one, right? This is two. Wait, is this three in here? I'm just hungry, man. I'm hungry and I'm not thinking straight. That's all it is. Okay. So this is a Canway stove for piece number one. This is piece number two. There we go, there we go, damn it. Piece number one, piece number two. This goes here. There. And this right here, as you can see, will hold my, my pan on my pot. If you have a frying pan, which I have like a um, little frying pan, cast iron, what I thought I was going to use to catch a fish, sit it on there, right? But what I'm going to do, since I'm using a little pot, we're going to put those legs inward, 
Mm, put it down like that. All right. So this is it. Just like that. All right. So what I'll do is we'll gather some branches and just put it in there. Just put it right there with a little tender. I could put the tender on top and try to start it with my magnesium rod. All right, so what I'm gonna do, put this down here. We'll give y'all a view of what I'm attempting to do to start a fire for the first time in my life. Y'all check this out right here, man. What is this? I just pulled this from the ground. It looks just like green onion. See that? It smells exactly like green onion from the grocery store. Now, I'm no survivalist, so I'm not going to eat it. But I'm, I'm like 95%. Oh, it smells really good. Is this green onion? I was clearing out my space over here, right? And it was just like there, and I just pulled it. And it smells exactly like green onion. I'm going to have to start learning like how to forage. See if I can find some more. Where, where is it at? Hold on, let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Okay, prime example right here. Right here, hold on. There we go. Right there, look at this. Tell me that's not onion. Mm, it smells good too. I'm not gonna eat it because I don't know what it is. Well, comment below, is this wild green onion? Can I eat this? Interesting. All right, so what I'm doing is um, clearing out a space for my pot because the embers are gonna fall directly to the ground and we don't wanna cause any fires. Like that, right? Just like that, simple enough. We just need some regular twigs. There's plenty of twigs around. It's really dry. I just need enough to boil my water and whatnot. Hold on. Honestly, I can just stand. I'm pretty sure that's green onion. All right, so we put the twigs in here. Shouldn't need a lot because you know I'm only boiling water and I can also continue to feed the fire. Oh, I'm gonna throw some green onions into my fire. Yeah, I need to learn how to forage. I'll be seeing all these mushrooms and I always wanna be eating them or whatnot, but you never know. You never know. couple more like I say luckily it hasn't rained in a few days after all that rain we had here so we'll just start with that just some twigs let me get me a fire starter real quick so here's my fire starter I'm gonna put that on top all right Next, I need my magnesium fire starter here. I have a little clip on it to put on my belt because in a survival situation, you don't want to lose this. All right, here we go. So, tender there. Now, all I need to do is kind of scrape some of that tender on here. I'm just scraping some of that magnesium hoping that's what it's called onto it and try to get smart come on let's go come on let me scrape more on it there we go all right got fire yes yes baby put the fire starter up 
boom y'all fire so while i'm working on letting my fire burn some more put this up here all right next i was at academy and some guy just kind of randomly saw me looking at pans he's like bro you gotta get gotta get this one he's like super lightweight once again something else i got on amazon go to my amazon store if you want to check it out it's, it's titanium super light I'm like cool bet say less man so we got that let our fire burn and Oh. Okay, note to self. Make sure your sticks aren't too too big to point you can't close it. There we go. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Um next water right now. Need water. Oh here we go, right? We good baby. We good. Now let's see how we actually cook an MRE. Made with tender beef and potatoes. Yeah, whatever. I really doubt that. Hearty gravy, beef potatoes, and carrots. Okay. So, first things first. Open packet, tear knots, remove. Carefully add three, one to three, four cups. 414 millimeters. I think this has a little gauge on it. 415 millimeters. 300 I guess three four hundred and fifteen so probably right under four sixteen all right all right four hundred and fifty millimeters I think that's how many ounces again 14 ounces so that's probably right about there I have a little gauges inside of it sit it ouch ouch oh my god there's that big spider he came out just in time you lucked out buddy why are you going towards the fire i don't think you want to do that my guy Damn. Sit. there you go buddy that's right go the other way oh fire's going good Titanium is not supposed to get really hot, although it is. Maybe if I put the top on, will that make it go faster? Alright, so the cool thing about this particular pot or stove, it has a little side entranceway where I can keep feeding more branches into it while it's going on to keep my fire going. Let's see what time it is. 4.34. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take to boil water. Um, I mean, low key it smells good, but I mean, looking at it, like, look at this. You see that? Look at that. Bro, it's like dog food. Well, in a survival situation, beggars can't be treasers. I can grab it. Titanium. Even with boiling water, my handle's completely cool. So let me pour this. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Okay, hot, hot. Don't hold the bottom of the bag, you idiot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't spill it. Don't spill it. Okay, let me put it on the ground. Put it on the ground. Here we go. Ouch. Hot. Hot, hot. Oh, hands cramping up. Okay, y'all. Can y'all see that? Wait, five minutes, stir again. 45. Wait, five minutes, stir again. Seal. Let's stand additional four minutes, stir, and enjoy. 
Okay, so stir carefully. Close zipper, check. Wait five minutes and stir again. I think I hear something walking behind me. Get out of nature. You know what I'm saying? Get your kids out of nature. So many of our kids, you know, are just spending hours on TikTok. That annoys the hell out of me. And it's kind of funny, you know, at 43, I can't believe I'm saying, like, get off your phone. You know, you're spending too much time on your phone. But here I am, sounding like, you know, my parents. And, but we didn't, I didn't have a phone growing up. You know what I'm saying? We, we had to go play outside. This is what it was about. You know, you go play outside until the streetlight comes on. That's, that was it. These kids today are just different, man. Get them out and let them see things. Let them experiment. Let them get scared. Let them have fun, laugh, hurt themselves. Let them be kids again, you know? That's what we know. We're talking about make, make America great again. Make kids kiss again. Let them come out here and experience something else besides a cell phone. They'll love it. You know, it might be a little struggle, but they'll definitely love it. I know I do. All right, y'all. So it's been about five minutes. So our beef stew needs to be stirred again and resealed. And let's stand for another four minutes. Damn. This takes longer than actually cooking at home. Mmm. Okay. I'm going to stir it again. It's thickening up a little bit. Thicken up a little bit. I must be really hungry because low key, man, this smells really good. And it, it low key looks good. Just don't spill it. So let me seal it back up again. All right, y'all. So we're going to come back and test out the Mountain House Adventure Meals beef stew in about five minutes. Let me start cleaning up my camp a little bit. We'll eat and check back with you. All right, y'all. Time for lunch. Some supper. Let me get y'all a look on what this looks like. Yeah, okay, hold on. Yeah. All right, so here it is, y'all. That is who we're working with. I mean, honestly. I just, one thing I hope for is like, I don't throw up. I just don't want to throw up. That's it. Here we go. Let's see what this tastes like. I mean, how the hell does beef, how, how is beef dried? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't, I don't understand that. Like, how can you dry beef? What's the expiration date on this? Best, what the? the expiration date, September 2052. 2052. Bro, this is this will this will this will be good for like 30 years. Man, ain't no help. I'm about to die. I am about to die. Here we go. I got some salt and pepper. Let me just taste the raw first. Hold on. Let me see. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is a titanium spoon. Something else I got on Amazon. People are like, yeah, I guess you a titanium long spoon, so you can just really get in there. Let's see what they're talking about now. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Hold on, let me get another bite. I want some peas, potatoes, carrots, celery, and beef. I want a little bit of everything. All right, here we go. You know what, low key? This damn thing was like eight or nine dollars. It's fire. 
I don't know why. I don't know how dried beef, potatoes and carrots, and adding water tastes good. I give it a, hold on. I need to put some pepper in here. Yeah, I'm gonna put some pepper in, hold on. Mm. I give it a nine out of 10. The only thing preventing it from like being a, a 10 out of 10, if the meat was a little bit more tender, but what the hell can you expect from freeze dried meat? Now I'm thinking like, you know, one, two, three, four, five. I got here like around, was it two? One or two. I don't know, something like that. And I kind of wonder if I go camping, like, what am I going to do? You set up, you set up camp. You know, you start fire if you need it. You prepare for food. You cook. You relax, you eat. Like, if I would have came out here earlier... I guess I would have spent a lot of my time just fishing. Well, what else are you gonna do besides fish, you know? You guys eat, relax. I don't think you can hunt where I'm at. Only way I'm hunting something is um, something run up on me. Something run up on me and I kill it. It's gonna turn into Lord of the Flies. Hmm. I feel better now. Not out of eight. Something I ate this morning was like a little bit of fruit. I'm like, I'm cool. I'm gonna be hunting for some hunting and camping for survival. I got it. Mm -mm. No, I don't. Cause you don't got the proper fishing line. I know one damn thing. I will always bring food out here with me. One of the things I plan on cooking is, um, you know, just traditional camp meals to see what that's like, you know, cooking on open fire. I want to do a steak, potatoes, onions. I want to do cowboy breakfast, eggs, bacon, potatoes, all that. Yeah, man, I just want to explore. I don't know how the hell I have not seen that one snake yet. Y'all know me. If you've been rocking with my channel since 2020, 2021, even 2022, y'all know I don't do nature like this. Got a fear of snakes, spiders, lizards, frogs, pretty much any animal. So for me to be out here in the middle of the woods by myself, covered in dead leaves and branches, is crazy. Okay, not a spider. Hmm. All right, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed this mukbang part of the episode. Definitely recommend the Mountain House Adventure Meals Beef Stew, nine point five. It would have been ten out of ten if I wanted to go get my pepper, pepper and salt. I'm curious to see how that biscuit and gravy tastes. We'll say that for another day. All right, 515, I want to take a little rest in my hammock, man. Just take a little rest in my hammock, get my mind right before I pack up all this gear and work my way out. Enjoying it. Camping, man, this is fun. <laughs>